Hi there, I'm Laura, Developer Advocate, and today let's talk about Pulumi deployments, available in preview today, November 2nd, 2022. Using Pulumi deployments, you can run any Pulumi program and therefore deploy any infrastructure on the Pulumi service instead of on your own local system. It's got three different triggers for you to choose from. A trigger that runs whenever you commit to a GitHub repository with other version control systems coming soon. A UI-based trigger that lets you build infrastructure from your Pulumi dashboard. Or an API that you can access from anywhere, which is what we'll see today. If you're familiar with Pulumi's automation API, you may be wondering about how the deployments API is different. The automation API is a programmatic, non-interactive way to run Pulumi programs. People use it for CI/CD systems, web portals, and more. Unlike the Automation API, you aren't running Pulumi on your own local system with the Deployments API. Instead, the Deployments API reaches out to the Pulumi service itself, which interprets Pulumi programs and commands on remote Pulumi-owned servers. So you no longer will have to install Pulumi on your local machine or your CI/CD system to run an infrastructure deployment from your code base. Enough talking about it though. Let's go check out the new experience. All right, and here we are. We are taking a look at a Python program using our new deployments API. So I'm actually just gonna hit the API itself in this preview. You'll find that we have our backend URL. This is our api.palumi.com. And if you weren't aware, we do have documentation on this service API if you wanna go explore it. But we're gonna be hitting a very, very specific endpoint. In this case, we're gonna generate the call itself using requests. We have some headers that we have and the request itself, which I'll show you in a moment. But this just creates the deployment, it hits that call and generates it. And we're gonna be running our application right here, this call me. So please call the API and create, create a deployment with a little bit of data passed in. We're gonna be just grabbing from our examples repo. Here's a branch, a repo directory inside of that branch. And we find the context on the operation right here. We're just doing an update. So if I actually just run this, We'll see that we are getting an update against the preview and we get an exit code of zero. Let's go see what that looks like on the UI. And there it goes. It's starting to actually run on the upstream system and our deployment has succeeded. Running on Pulumi servers instead of your own, we can see that we now have this update. We can click into it and explore. It looks just like our deployments everywhere else. This kind of thing can be really helpful. Eventually, maybe we'll see some drift detection. You can get some logs from the system that's running, maybe some reactive updates, or even perhaps some uh, time bomb stacks or uh, reviewing applications, things like that. Wouldn't it be really cool to have all of this all at once in Pulumi? And let's hop over to one more piece here on the dashboard. And this is the new deployment button that will be part of this preview. So here we have a new project and we have this deploy actions button right up here that allows you to run any of these same commands right here in the Pulumi dashboard. So let's say you're on call and you're away from your laptop. Maybe it's date night, maybe you're out shopping, maybe you're just out doing something else and you don't wanna get back to that laptop. You would be able to come here and run any of these deployment commands directly from the dashboard, which should be pretty helpful for those of you on call or in any other situation where you wanna run it directly on the dashboard. Pretty cool. If you're interested, join the waitlist found here or down in the video description. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.